ladies and gentlemen. This story came from Weekend Warrior, and I want to thank you for sending this. November 3rd, 2018, from the Daily Coast. Now, I did a story on this teacher in Iowa that went in blackface for some Halloween party. Well, anyway, she and her attorney are both trying to play dumb and act like they had no idea what blackface even was. And she even says, my friends and family didn't even know what blackface was. These, these bitches are lying. <laughs> they are lying. And not only are they lying, they're bad liars. Okay, so this teacher and someone that went to law school have no clue to what blackface is. That's what they're trying to tell us. So as I read through this, they're going to really insult our intelligence. These motherfuckers are lying. I don't care what they say. They are a bunch of liars. They know what it is. And all, all the people they're mentioning know what the hell this is. But just sit back, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, it's a very insulting piece. Okay. The Iowa teacher who wore Neapolitan dynamite blackface issued a rambling statement and it's bananas and because nobody's buying what she's saying. She, she'd have made everything worse. Megan Luloff, the Iowa elementary school teacher under investigation for wearing head to toe blackface to a Halloween party and proudly sharing it on social media is finally speaking out via her attorney. And her statement is arguably worse than her costume. And it is, it is. Let me just get to it. The two page statement written by attorney Catherine Zora Carty and addressed to whom it may concern was sent to local media late in the day on October 31st. The screed is part, equal part, this is what she's saying. It's not my fault. And I didn't know. <laughs> oh boy. How many times are we going to hear this? We, we should just say these words before they even say it themselves. With dashes of what about ism and actually you should be thanking me for this we should be thanking you for blackface huh <laughs> this bitch need to have her butt kicked beyond her shoulders <laughs> oh my goodness the statement also blames a local paper for forcing luloff to face consequences for her racist as costume execution and you can see her here. And she even did, look, she even did her damn ankles and feet and everything. Counselor Carty begins by telling us that the modern day minstrel teacher, good and has not only taught white students in her storied career in the state that has continuously elected unapologetic bigot, Stephen King to public office since 1996. The Davenport School District is one of the most diverse school districts in the entire state of Iowa. Megan has been a dedicated, I don't want to hear all that stuff. All right, that's coming from the attorney. Next, Carty insists that Luloff just wanted to nail her LaFonda dynamite costume and had never heard of blackface in her entire life. Liar! She just knew how to execute it. In an effort to complete her costume, Megan used a dark foundation to enhance her pigmentation to create the likeness of LaFonda. At no point during her preparation for the party or her participation at the event did Megan ever intend to mock the character's ethnicity or take any action intended to be offensive to anyone. At this point in time, Megan had never heard the term blackface. 
Liar, liar. Okay, so let's play dumb when I do something inappropriate. This is the go-to thing, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever they get caught in something, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know that was wrong. Yeah, yes, you did. Nor did she know the history of the term. Yes, she did. Yes, she did, ladies and gentlemen. It never occurred to her see that covering herself in whatever that black stuff was a bad choice. Carti doesn't mention it, but clearly Luloff's devotion to authenticity was so severe. Oh my God, talk about over-exaggerating. She was willing to risk her white pants being stained Oh my God, what are we supposed to do? Applaud her? Okay, that is a very over-exaggerated statement from the attorney and it's sickening too. Oh, so what are we supposed to do? Get up and give her credit for not getting black face makeup on her white pants? I don't even know why she put that out there. That's stupid. Next, Carti blames Lulofs local paper, the Quad City Times for ruining the country and Luloff's life before immediately giving Luloff a bunch of cookies and credit for educating the nation on blackface. If she didn't know what blackface was, how is she going to educate somebody on it? And, and how did the Quad City Times ruin the country? See, this lawyer Whoa, this lawyer is terrible. Terrible lawyer. Her over-exaggerations are just disgusting. It is clear from their article in a company picture that the Quad City Times either acted to promote an already decisive country, which it did, or meant saying publication to cause death threats to Megan and her family. It is equally apparent that this picture has now made thousands of citizens aware of what blackface is historically. You already knew what it was historically, you lying bitch. And how hurtful it is to all African Americans. Megan, along with many of her friends and families, were completely unaware of what blackface was historically or such a term even exists. Yo, Megan and her family and friends are full of shit. They know what this shit is. Next, I guess next they're going to tell us they don't know what chattel slavery and Jim Crow was. I guess that's going to be the next thing. They're lying. All of them are liars. After hearing and understanding what blackface is was, Megan immediately understood the anger and outrage at the photo. Apparently, Luloff is super grateful that everyone knows about blackface now. What, is she, what, do you mean, what the hell does she mean, uh, blackface now? Like, nobody knew what this was until she said something. If she don't get her stupid ass out of here, because as mentioned above, nobody knew about it before. You're all a bunch of liars. Since Luloff and most of the people she knows hadn't heard of it before, all liars. All of y'all are liars and bad liars on top of that. Basically, y'all, Luloff is an American hero, <laughs> a local awareness raiser in shoe polish and a party city wig. Surely we can all agree on this fact. If these bitches don't go somewhere and sit down, like she educated everybody on what, <laughs> woo, sometimes you are better off just keeping your mouth shut. And in this case, Megan Luloff and your attorney Carti, y'all show y'all both should have just shut the hell up and did what you needed to do behind the scenes. Putting this out just shines and even bigger ignorant light on her, basically. Okay, so 
Carter then veers sharply into whataboutism. After nearly crashing into the land of I have a black friend, Oh my goodness. All right, let me go on. This is, this is hard, (laughs) y'all. Woo, if I had this woman's number, I'd call her. The statement next attempts to leverage Luloff's son struggles as an example of just how incapable of wearing blackface the blackface wearing educator is. Megan's child, has an appearance that is um, different than most of the people around him. She has often experienced stares, mocking, and ridicule on behalf of her child's appearance. Megan understands personally how sensitive feelings about appearance can be. She knows how hurtful and damaging it can be when you think someone is mocking your appearance. Throughout history, people affected by albinism have been humiliated, mocked, and sent away from their families. Worse of all, beaten and thought of as a witchcraft. Using her kid as a pawn in this spinning game is probably (laughs) the low point. That's what I agree. And ladies and gentlemen, I bet you if you saw this kid, he would be as white as she is. Okay. Um, All right. So using her kid as a pawn in this spinning game is probably the low point in this statement. But let's see it through to the end, just in case it gets worse. Oh, wait, it does. Now it's time for Carti to dip into the Megan Kelly playbook and talk about how perfect and perfectly incapable of doing harm uh, her client is. The essay closes with a reminder of Luloff is responsible for teaching us so much about blackface. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Megan has worked with families and students of all races and ethnicities. Then she should have known better. Okay, this is why there's no excuse for her doing what she did. Megan has loved and treated every child like her own. And throughout her life and the duration of her career, she never seen color as a distinguishing character between her students, she's lying. She's lying. She's lying. She's lying. She's lying, y'all. And trust me, just like all of these other teachers across America are biased in how they treat uh, students in the classroom, she's no different. She's no different. You know, I'm always leery about people that say they don't see color, then they must be Stevie Wonder because I sure see it. And it it is not a sin to look at a person and recognize that they may be different from you. That's not a sin. There's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with looking at somebody and seeing there's clear differences between you and that person. That's not a sin. But see, when you start acting out like you are better than someone because of it, that's what makes it, you know, that's what makes the whole thing wrong. But recognizing differences is not a sin. So the fact that she is sitting here talking about she never seen color, she's a liar. This woman is just lying her ass off through this whole statement. Again, she could have kept this shit to herself. I think she is causing more harm to herself in this statement than if she would have just stayed silent on the whole thing. But let me go on. Megan's inclination to help and protect each and every one of her students, despite racial background, leaves her morally and spiritually incapable of ever taking an action that she believes would offend or hurt someone. Megan only hopes 
that her experience and lack of education on this topic, but I thought she was educating people on it. Isn't that a contradictory? Now you're saying you have a lack of education, but further in the article, you said you were educating people on blackface. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, lack of education on this topic will help others understand and avoid the same mistakes in the future. So um, w, um, KWQC6, the local NBC affiliate, reports that Luloff remains under investigation and is still employed as a first grade teacher at Walcott Elementary School. Well, why is she still educated? Um, and, you know, in education, period. They should have booted her out, but really, at least the heinous folks who dressed up like Mexican stereotypes and Trump hatred wall are all on administrative leave. Oh yeah, there were some teachers that dressed up as immigrants and they did this fake out looking Mexican wall. I didn't even do that story. It was stupid to me. Cartee's full statement can be found here. Oh boy, if you're looking for a weekend headache. No, I'm not. No, I'm not looking for that. But what I will do is I will put her full statement, which is a PDF file, in the description box if you want to read this laughable statement that came out from her attorney. Both of the, these women sound incompetent and stupid if they think we believe <laughs> what I just read. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.